<sighs> typical, isn't it? Bleeding typical, mate. Aye, aye, typical. Yesterday was rain all day. Look at it now, bit of blue sky and fine and fairly mild. A low fuel in the cater this morning, now it's gone. We might as well fill up, 130 miles. If you brim it, it gets to about 140 normally. So I, I mustn't have brimmed it or it's not doing as well as it used to. Thank you for stopping, not like that other silly bugger. Few spots of rain. P. Well, I didn't go to the paper shop this morning or on the last minute. <coughs> last time there was someone waiting, I pushed me back forward. to get home to my call down. I was in there on the Friday getting a double Jack Daniels and Coke <laughs> and I got a pint at the other one. I left uh, work early on Friday because I felt a bit ill and I actually got to see a doctor. I went to the chemist to get an inhaler and I said about getting some cough medicine. You had cough a long time? I said, oh yeah. About four weeks now, well, I'll go and see doctor. I said, I'll be lucky if I can see one. But short notice, so I went in. And he said, yes, Dr. Ansar at Richton at 11. It was quarter to 11. But bloody hell, I haven't got time to get my bike out. So I got a taxi over to the doctor. And he listened to my chest and my back. No, no evidence of congestion. Well, I've coughed it all up now. This morning, I woke up at six o'clock, coughing, and they're hanging over the bathroom sink, coughing it all up. That's why you can't hear anything. I think it's infection in your throat. I said, oh, I give you uh, antibiotics. I said, well, I'm going to work now. Well, prescription will be ready tomorrow then. I said, oh, right. So I got a taxi to work and on Saturday picked up the penicillin and that lad at work who had the same thing he said it takes three weeks, three days to start working so you're doing nearly at the curb then so I'll see if it clears my chest up see there's debris all over this road some kind of cable then Yeah, so we're going to Key Dixon's. I thought about getting another disc lock, uh, disc lock as well. My old mall tracks, which I've had for years, were playing up, but I squirted some WD in. 
and it seems all right now, although, what if it suddenly fails and you're left bloody stranded? Bit dodgy this because uh, our outlets, I mean, that's from Halfords, and I just got it from that cheapo shop for four pound, and for three pound they had some Halfords equivalent of Red X. But this is uh, ideal for my petrol tank because it says, well, I forgot now, it's fifteen. Yeah, treats 15 litres of fuel. And I thought, well, I've just filled up. It's mm. Smells like red X. But what uh, caught my eye, cleans fuel system, removes deposits from injectors. Combustion chamber cleaner. Well, is it bullshit or does it work? And I thought, well, for £4, is it any cheaper in Halfords? Did he buy Halford stuff? It's a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Litter fresh, uh, biscuits, anti diarrhea tablets, pound, there's a modium, already £3, six capsules. There are my uh, antibiotics, a lot of work, so oh, my more orange, you see, no oh, mine are red and yellow, oh, it's different stuff. That's all I was told, it's penicillin. Amoxillin, amoxillin, 500 milligram. <coughs> so hopefully that will clear my cough up. Cherry, that's what I wanted, cherry blossom, a pound, that other stuff. Kiwi was three pound nod. Rubbing swines. From Morrison's. Some cheap wash and wipes, £1.30. So I'm going to clean my bike now. And instead of putting washing up liquid in, which was what I was going to do, some cheap washing up liquid, giant pack for a pound, I'm going to uh, put this in. It's sealed up. Why is that sealed up? What are you meant to, are you meant to get a ladder? Oh, I thought it was on the threads. See, it's quite gooey. It's better than uh, washing up liquid. I got looking at all the household products, so I mean, would anything... So I'm sure someone said windling. I thought, what are they using windling for? And I forgot who was doing it now. I swear by windling on my bike. And I thought, it says added vinegar, cuts through grease, and it's not got anything nasty in A lot of them say, you know, if you have bleach in it's nasty stuff. And I thought, should I just slosh this on? The advice that girl gave in the shop after she asked the mechanic was, don't put any solvents on, don't put any warm water on. I said, well, no, I put warm water on. What's wrong, little rats? Put warm water on and then I rinse it off with my horse pipe. I know I'm silly neglecting me back over the weekend because it's full of bloody white salty spots now and that's not from just today. You just get lazy, don't you? Well, I do. You get settled on the comfy chair and everything gets neglected but if the bloody sea 
piston is seized up again. <coughs> There's a way of brushes. It's one little one. There's a seizure, don't know where they are. Really. That's where it. Uh, yeah, glass and shiny surfaces. Cats are having a funny do. Well, I just thought I'd clean the rust off again. Then ACF 50 the bolts to stop them from really rusting. And like I said, the front ones have gone again because they're very prone to the effects of the salt and the pin spots. I know it is going to get a rinse off after, thorough rinse. I think I'll fill the, my big bucket up and give it a proper wash. It's just like I said, getting into that routine, isn't it? Instead of being lazy and flopping on the settee with a brew, get into a routine of regular cleaning after it's been out on the dodgy salt laden roads. Otherwise, we're going to get seized up again. I know this is purely cosmetic for these knots, but. And then pin spots. And it's there where I'm worried about. And the four legs, well, I shouldn't really bother about four legs, they'll soon clean up with silver water cell in the spring. Mainly the brakes. Yeah, I can see what they mean. I swear by a window lean. Can you see the fork legs getting nice and clean? Vinegar clean. They say vinegar is a wonder portion for all sorts of stuff. Cleaning wise. But I'm open to uh, any suggestion. <laughs> Someone will probably say vinegar, worst thing you can put on. That will corrode stuff. <sighs> the idea was, after that wash and wet stuff, squirt this on, leave it, to hopefully neutralise any salt that's in, then rinse it off with the horse pipe and soapy water. It did say it dissolves grease. And I thought there's a lot of accumulated grease on my suspension. So I squirt that on. Shouldn't really put it on the chain. I can always do the chain again after. Yes, litter fresh by Glade. What a sweetie smelly now. Yeah, so that girl was saying she was concerned I was using hot water. I said, no, no, no. That's just initially, and I leave it to soak, and then I blast it off with the hose. I must get one of them wonder hose things that don't knot up. I'm paying it out, this is. Mm. I'd 
will do. I need about eight feet. Right. I wonder if that windolina is soaked into that grease on my uh, suspension and will it blast it away? I was thinking of investing in a, a proper jet, you know, a jet wash for about 50 quid and one of those dryers that someone said about, like a leaf blower but with a heat setting. So, uh, we're well, asked where to the window lean, get it all off. Oops, I've got walls on the camera now. That's where it She's just lukewarm. So, how's the back wheel spinning freely? Mm -hmm. That indicates another tight spot on the chain, doesn't it? Like what Philip Yule said. He said your chain's getting worn. When did I have it fitted? A year ago. Right, back here, yelping. I'm going to square this now, man. Goodbye. <coughs> you know what I mean? Blast. I mean, as far as jet washers go, she said, oh, you'll spoil your wheel bearings with a jet washer. So just a horse pipe on a single jet is quite powerful. But will it clean the salt off the piston? That's the question. I think I'll have to take it off the bloody four legs to do a proper thorough job. <coughs> Oops. That's all that build up. Yeah. Shifted some of it. Oops. Blasted it onto my work boots. Yeah, it is. On the side. does that? Can anyone explain that? Sometimes it's it's really, I mean even that, it feels really positive and it shouldn't just a couple of millimetre and they're on. And then when I ride down the road, it'll be back to normal, 20 millimetre. There can't be a build up of pressure in here. So what does that? It just defies logic sometimes simple bite stuff. 